Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day, happy Star Wars day. Right here, we've got 2019 Top Star Wars Authentics Series 2 Autograph Photo and Trading Card. This is a four box break. Third of a case, random character break number one. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into it. Now, one spot gets you four characters on this list right here. So there's one 8x10 per box and then one trading card per box. Now remember, any and all multi-signed photos go to the any and all multi-signed photo spot. So if there's a dual, triple, quadruple auto, right? No randomizer, just goes to that one person right there. So that's a pretty cool spot. Um, also, there are some characters or there are some actors and voice folks that are two different characters. So obviously the BB-8 version of Dave Chapman would go to that spot and the Lady Proxima version of Dave Chapman will go to the Lady Proxima spot. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. For the trading cards, these are the non-8x10s. For the trading cards, we're just giving them to, it'll just be random letters, first letters of their character name, right? So for example, um, if there was a trading card of Captain Rex, it'll go to letter C, right? Not R, it'll go to C. General Hux goes to G, so on and so forth. And we kind of split the letters A through G, H through J, K through S, and T through W, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, make sense? There we go. Now let's quadruple these right there. One, two, three, four. So you see Aaron's last spot mojo star one, two, three, and four times. And there's all the characters right there that I just copied from the item description on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think we only have this one case. So get into it while supplies last. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, nine times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we got Chris Miller all the way down to DMAC, Darren McKenzie. And then four and a five, nine times for the characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Scott Lawrence as Yarek Yeager, down to John Morton as Bubba Fett. All right, I'm going to alphabetize by your first names in just a second, but let me just show you the list as is. I'm not going to read all these off. Too many for me to read. There's Chris Berry. Harrison Ford is Han Solo. That's pretty cool. All right. So there you go. Now, let's alphabetize by your first names. By column A. So Aaron, with your last spot mojo, John Boyega as Finn, Julian Glover as General Veers, and then any and all trading cards where the first letter of their character name is K through S, H through J. Adam, there you go. So those are your last spot mojo spots, Aaron. Adam, there's yours. Chris Berry got a bunch of spots. There we go. Those are all of his spots right there. Chris Miller. Curtis has a good chunk of characters right here too. Darren McKenzie. Jerry. Michael Calder. Other Michael C. Panagiotis, SKS, and last but not least, the Todd Father. 
There you go. So now if you need to see your names again, definitely let me know. And um, you can trade if you'd like to. Now as you're considering trades, let's pop open this case and let's see which four we're going to do. There we go. Wow, that looks pretty cool. So this is kind of a... Just before noon, Doug Marone says, look, I don't know when he got hurt, when his back got sore, when the tightness happened. And then a couple hours later, the Jaguars released a statement that says, hey, look, he talked to the trainers during the fourth quarter of Thursday's game and said, back soreness, back tightness. Uh, it's not a good look down here for the franchise. All right, so I know the, the blue on the black box is kind of hard to see, but you can see... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Right there. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to random.org. We're going to use the same dice roll as we used with the... Uh, with the other... With your names and characters. So 9, 4 and a 5, 9 times. And we'll randomize numbers 1 through 12... And the top four boxes are going to be the ones that we do. All right, so once again, nine times, top four boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we're going to do 4, 10, 2, 12. Four, 10, 2, 12. There it is. 4, 10, 2, 12. All right, looks like there's no trades, so let's do it. All right, so one autograph, 8 by 10 photo, plus one tops trading card inside. On the front right here, it's pretty cool. Harrison Ford, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and the guy who played Han Solo in the Solo movie. Which is actually not that bad. Um, you have two... One is, I'm not sure why there's two, but there's, there's one as Darth Maul and one is just Maul. There's a distinction, I think. All right. Good luck. But it's not on the checklist. I Nick used the checklist for this. All right, stand by, folks, while we figure this out. This 
So we'll just have to figure why. Where's the checklist here? Ah, there's cardboardconnection.com. There's two Darth Mauls. There's prequel Darth Maul. Ray Park is Darth Maul in the prequels, and then Solo and Battlefront. Ray Park as Maul, ladies and gentlemen. So there, it is there twice. All right, so there you go. It is a Todd issue. <laughs> All right, come on, Todd. Let's do the, should we do the trading card first? Where's the trading card? Does this not give it away? Okay, it doesn't give it away. Oh, everyone can save. <laughs> All right, the trading card, we're not going to ship it in this. The trading card is 72 out of 99. It's Greg Grunberg as Snap Wexley. There you go. Oh, go to old Snap Wexley, flying the old Y Wings. So that goes to letter S. And that will be for Aaron Salinas with that one. There you go. Good old Snap Wexley. All right. And the photo. is going to be, oh, nice, Sarah Michelle Geller. There's the authentic right there. If you have not seen the, uh, the animated series, there's a little dust all over it, but if you haven't seen the animated series, it's quite good. Sarah Michelle Geller as the seventh sister goes to Curtis. There you go, Curtis. Have you seen the, the animated series, Curtis? It's really good. All right. Next one. Oh, sorry about that. Hit the mic. And the trading card is Susie McGrath as Tam uh, Rivora. I don't remember this character. And I've watched a lot of Star Wars stuff. 22 out of 25. That goes to letter T. And that will be for Darren McKenzie, who has trading cards T through W. Oh, she's from the new show? Okay, I haven't seen the, the newest of shows. I haven't seen that one yet. All right. Next 8 by 10 is... Is Billy Lord. Nice. So, so far, good thing I've known all these characters so far. Let's actually get a close-up on the autograph right there. There she is. Nice, and who has the Billy Lord? And that'll be for Michael Calder. There you go, with the Billy Lord. Yeah, of course, everyone knows Carrie Fisher's daughter. Right, everyone knows that, right? All right, nice one, Michael. Yeah, and yeah, and as far as that animated series goes, yeah, Sarah Michelle Gellar, pretty big name in that show. She does a lot of the great voice work there. She all um, her husband Freddie Prince Jr. 
also is on the show, and he plays uh, he plays Kanan, the the Jedi in that show. Star Wars Rebels is pretty good. Clone Wars is pretty good too. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. 68 out of 99. General Hux, that goes to letter G. Curtis with the letter G. All right, now so far I've known all these characters here too. Um, do I know this one? Yes. There's the authenticity sticker right there. That is Kelly, whatever her last name is. Kelly Marie Tran as Rose. In the, in the sort of questionable Last Jedi, at least for me. Hopefully this final movie will make up for that. That goes to Chris Berry. And the last one, ladies and gentlemen. So far, these, these are pretty cool. Remember, we only have one case of this, ladies and gentlemen. So, get into it while supplies last. We've got Captain Nita. Michael Culver is Captain Nita. On the Avenger, but escaped under mysterious circumstances. Uh oh. Uh, General Nita goes to, or Captain Nita goes to uh, letter C. That will be for Curtis in the A through G spot. All right, and the last one. This is random character break number one, Star Wars. Got a couple more of these breaks. So when you see it on jazbeescasebreaks.com, go and get it. We love the Star Wars here. Last one is, nice, Saw Gerrera. Saw, who has Forrest Whitaker. Michael Calder with that one as well, nice. Got it. Got the gold ink on that too. Sorry, a lot of studio lights here kind of reflecting off of the top loader, but I think you guys get the idea. Nice. So there you have it, boys and girls. A nice four box break in the book, Star Wars number one. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time for more. May the Force be with you.